Hello, this is the 2019 FIDE World Cup. This is Ding Laren versus Moff Sissian. This is their first game together, which ended in a draw. So we have <coughs> D4, D5, C4, C6, Knight F3, E3. Oh, my fault, my fault. Uh, D4, D5, uh, C4, C6, Knight F3, Knight F6, E3, Bishop F5. We have Slav defense. Knight C3, A6. Bishop D2, E6, Queen to B3, Rook up to A7, protecting B7, Knight H4, attacking the Bishop, Bishop E4, C takes, C takes, F3, attacking the bishop once again. Bishop goes to G6. Ding castles long. He castles into the fire. Possible queenside attack. B5, line up rooks on C8. So we have 11, castle. Developing, knight C6. Ding captures the bishop. King moves to a Safer position. King to b1. Black develops. Bishop e7. Rook c1. Completing the alignment. Knight d7. Bringing that knight over to the queen side. Let me see if computer likes that. Knight d7. Uh, King f8. Also, uh, Ding's intentions are very aggressive because he's castled long. And if black castles, then black is black is in store for an onslaught from a kingside attack. Knight d7. It's kind of circ circumspect. Uh, knight d7. Castle is even well. No. Simply king to king to f8. So 14. Knight d7. Bishop d3. Developing. Looking at the kingside. Knight to a5, attacking the queen. Queen h4, knight c6, offering a draw. If a repetition, queen to b3, we would have probably a draw. But let's see. Ding says no, he doesn't want to draw. Knight e2, rook back, repositioning the, the rook. e4, going for the center here. Rook to c8. Where the, where the rook belongs. E5, clamping down on the center. Now, G5, this is a strange move. G5, G3, going for F4. G6. H4 could be possible, too. Uh, H6. A3. Waiting move. King to F8. Then H4. Giving up a pawn to open up uh, attack, possible attack on the king side. So 22 h4. H takes. G takes. So Ding gives up a pawn for for an attack. Rook takes. Bishop takes, and he places his rook on h1. That was good. He gave up a pawn for an attack. King to g7. That's not too accurate. But what a better move would be mm, King to e8, huh? Getting out of harm's way. A king to g7, walking into the fire. Queen d1. Queen to e7. Queen g1. 
rook to h8. Where am I here? Okay, so far the position is even, 27. Bishop e3. Queen to d8. Knight of four, piling up on that g6. Pawn down, but he's trying to whip up and attack. Knight to f8, do defense, defending g6. Queen to g4. Rook to h7. Rook to g1, repositioning everything, looking at g6. King gets off the line of fire. Remember, am I correct? 31. And knight h3. Queen to b6. Trying to start something on the queen side. We're at 32. Queen to b6, knight g5. Trying to stir up some trouble here. Bishop takes. More accurate would be maybe knight f4 again. But knight takes. Bishop takes. Queen ta uh, Bishop takes. Queen takes. King repositions. Queen to f4. Black always ha has to be mindful of that g6 square. Sack sacking on g6 somewhere. That white, white may sack somewhere. 35. Bishop c2. Computer likes black here. He is up a pawn, but uh, he's defending also. He has compensation. In other words, white has, I think white has some compensation for that pawn. 36. Uh, let me see where I am here. Queen to b5. Queen to f6. Now, this move is a mistake from by Ding. Queen to f6 allows infiltration of uh, queen to e2 followed by rook to h2 and attacking this file this rank here attacking uh, c2 b2 and the king is in in uh, trouble here would be but Mavsisian didn't find that uh, let's see 37 queen to f6 instead he plays knight to a5 when an infiltration he plays here but queen here is a uh, pretty good move. Queen to e2. Had he found queen to e2, white would have been in some trouble. Followed by rook to h2. This rank is, is really in trouble. He's really in trouble here. But my sister, he didn't find that queen to e2. It would have made a world of difference if he would have found it. But instead he played knight a5. Now knight a5 allows the sacrifice on g6 which Ding saw the perpetual he missed it queen of, queen of e2 would have made a world of difference it may be winning it is winning queen of e2 is winning so he played knight a5 so uh, my sister he missed his chance knight a, I don't know what the uh, time situation was at that point but now we have the, sa the sack on g6 which is leads to perpetual Bishop takes g6, f takes, rook takes, knight takes, and then queen takes. King near, and queen to f6. And we have perpetual. If here, even queen to h6, then queen to, yeah. This is a perpetual check. Now going back, if he would have played queen to e2, computer says best move is maybe here. Then rook comes in, attacking uh, c2. Rook over to protect. Then just rook to g2. And uh, white doesn't have anything here. Then maybe here, bishop. So what do we have? We have knight 
the knight comes into play, maybe that'll be the decisive, uh, then trying to exchange, relieving the pressure here. So he, the idea is he has to get the knight into play. Attack now the pawn is attacked. Queen takes, rook takes, pawn is still attacked. If f4, knight f3, and attacking uh, yeah, d4, his pawns, his pawns will drop. So I see. So, so uh, Ding would be in trouble here. So the idea then is to eventually bring this knight into play, which would be decisive. Queen to e2, Mopsissian missed it. Instead, we get a draw. Thanks for watching this, and I'll be uh, analyzing the next game from Ding Laren also. Until next time.